सो वाई इज एवरी वन आस्किंग टू क्रिएट यू न्यू अकाउंट फॉर द क्लाउड स्पेस पोस्ट आर के प्रोग्राम को हॉट वन लेट्स रिकॉर्ड इट इन दिस वीडियो बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट मेक श्योर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इन डू हाइट द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स कम टू द आर के होम पेज एंड अंडरस्टैंड वाई वी आर सेम सो यू मस्ट हैव कम्प्लीटेड द गेम इन केस यू हैवन कम्प्लीटेड इट स्टेट यून टेल द एन वील टॉक अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो सो इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड सम ऑफ द गेम्स इन द प्रीवियस कोहॉट दैट इज द डिसम्बर कोहॉट जस्ट नाउ इट एंडेड अराउंड वन और टू डेज एगो सो यू मस्ट हैव कम्प्लीटेड द आर्किड गेम्स एलबाजेस एंड ट्रिविया गेम्स सो देर इज नो इशू इफ यू कम्प्लीटेड द आर्किड गेम्स ओके एज दे विल बी एडेड एवरी ईयर एंड दे विल बी अपग्रेडेड प्रॉब्लम अराइजेस फॉर द स्किल बैजेस इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी दर्न स्किल बैजेस as many people started at the last moment like november and december so for reaching the trooper tier they have completed the 90 plus skill batches some have completed 40 plus skill batches some have completed 30 plus skill batches even if you have completed 5 to 10 skill batches or even one skill batch then it's uh, it will be little bit harder for you to reach the legend tier because every year they upgrade the points so here the main theme of this video is that to make you aware why you should create a new account for the arcade program so if you have already completed by any arcade games or any events like jna academy 2.0 the study jam which is running uh, parallelly and if you are in different country there must be running some competitive events including skill badges completion so if you have completed the skill badges in simple words or any laugh recourses okay for a detailed comparison if you want to understand what are these i'll make a dedicated video just comment down below now if you have completed all these things then you won't be eligible eligible for the bonus points and we, you will be unable to reach the top tier why because if you complete the skill badges i prepared a guide for making you understand if you have completed the skill badges the same skill badges won't be giving you points it will be added uh, as previous data okay so if you complete suppose if you complete build data warehouse in big query in 2025 and the same skill badge you complete in 2026 then you won't be awarded the points so what's the benefit of doing the badge that's why we are recommending to create a new account for the new cohort it will be very easy for you get the bonus points and it will be a clean slate for you even though if you have participated in any events like jna academy or study jam better create a new account for this cohort how to create it do not worry i'll show you second thing email many people are having query that can we use our college email student email or any other email like yahoo microsoft hotmail and there are multiple emails running out uh, for different people in different countries can we use you can use but it is recommended to use gmail or google email because uh, it will help you to sync all the things in simple way for creating the cloud community account for creating the cloud skills boost account and even gmail all things will be synchronized and if you are participating in this cohort the 2026 cohort participate with single account only if you want more swags you can just uh, inform your family members brother sister to take part in it so that they are able to know about the program and they are also comp uh, completing it and whatever swags you like you can just exchange with them now this is the thing the major confusion i hope it clears that if you have earned at least a one or two skill badges or participate in any other events better create a new account for the arcade cohort one because if you have already earned some badges then you won't be eligible for the extra points or you won't be eligible for reaching the top tier if you are comfortable if you want to use the same account there is not issue you may be reach up to the ranger tier not champion and legend tier okay the points uh, will surely increase so for the people who want to just use the same account uh, not participate with the new account you can use there is not issue the main thing is that you will get some extra points if you complete the create the new account because arcade facilitator program will be there also there and here you can see we have complete 52 skill badges in previous cohort and surely they will increase the skill badge size and if you have already on 60 skill badges 30 is remaining so you won't be eligible for the 25 bonus points or 30 whatever they add so that's why in simple words don't think anything just simply create a new account now how to do it for all of you i have created a complete playlist you have to come to the playlist section here you'll see the google arcade cohort 1 for uh, this is the arcade cohort 1 you need to just let me just open it i think it's opening so once you open over here you can see this is the 
how to create a cloud skills boost account even how to create a gmail account if you don't know you can watch it i think it's very simple still you can watch it and create it one more important thing while creation of the account make sure to check one more important thing that while entering your date of birth it must be 18 plus of age otherwise your account won't be created and it will be deleted so better create a new cloud skills boost account with 18 plus age if you are underage take help from your parents coming to the third the second thing that if you have already participated with old account and you want to share your credits to the new account you can watch this video and the third thing what is arcade and what is arcade facilitator program how the bonus points are getting all things are covered in this video make sure to watch it and if you have any query you can let me in the comment section so thank you guys have a great day ahead to like the video and subscribe the channel have a great day ahead